Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church, so we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in and find a comfortable seat to hear the story of Easter. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Good morning on this beautiful Easter Sunday. We are still in our homes. We are still longing to be together, but nothing can keep us from celebrating and proclaiming the good news that Christ is risen. Jesus is alive. That the love of Christ conquers all sadness and all fear and all separation. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? our story of God. And our story today is Jesus is risen, the appearance to Mary Magdalene. Today is Easter Sunday, the day in the church when we celebrate the great mystery of Jesus, that he died and that God made him alive again. This is a tomb. It is a special place for the dead. When Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb. They took his body down from the cross and laid his body in a tomb. They rolled a huge stone in front of it to close it, kind of like a door. Mary Magdalene loved Jesus very much. So early on that Sunday morning, she and her friends came to the tomb to care for Jesus' body. And as Mary came closer to the tomb, she noticed that the stone was rolled away and she looked in and saw that Jesus' body was gone. Where is he, she cried.
And an angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Jesus is risen, just as he said. Go and tell your friends that Christ is risen from the dead. Tell the disciples this good news. But Mary Magdalene would not leave. She stood crying. And then someone said, Who are you looking for? And he called her by name, Mary. She knew the sound of his voice. Now she knew that Jesus was alive. She was so happy that she couldn't help but go tell her friends and tell all the disciples. I have seen the Lord, she said. Christ is risen. I wonder what it was like for Mary when Jesus died and when they had to place his body in the tomb. I wonder how Mary felt when she went back the next morning and his body was not there. I wonder what it was like for Mary to see an angel and for an angel to say the words to her, Christ is risen. He is not here. I wonder how Mary felt when Jesus called her by name. I wonder what it felt like to tell the others that Jesus was alive. I wonder how we can know that Jesus is alive. And I wonder who we can tell that Jesus is alive. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Go and tell others that Christ is risen. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today can be found in the book of John in the Bible. That's one of the four Gospels in the New Testament. This is the book of John, chapter 20. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter, who was behind him, arrived and went into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the burial cloth that had been around Jesus' head. The cloth was folded up by itself, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. Then the disciples went back to their homes, but Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. 
Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord, she said, and she told them that he, all the things he had said to her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we're going to come before the Lord in a time of prayer. Please pray with me. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let us pray. Dear God, we come before you during this time. We give you thanks for the joy of the good news of Jesus being risen from the dead. Help us remember to share that good news with all the people that we meet. We thank you for the joy of one another, of our church family and of our home families. We think of those who need your presence, especially at this time, those who are sad. We think of those people who are sick. It's kind of a scary time right now with people around us getting sick. We ask for your presence, Lord, and for your peace. We are grateful. We give thanks for those who are caring for the sick, for the doctors and the nurses and the emergency workers in the hospitals. We thank you for the people who are still working in our grocery stores, for the truckers who are taking food across the country, even the places where we can go and put gas in our cars. We thank you for those people who are still continuing to care for us. Help us, Lord, to think of those around us who need us right now, that we may be your hands and your feet, that we may share a kind word, send a little note, a phone call. Let us be your voice now, Lord. Let us comfort those around us in this time of need. We pray all these things in Jesus' name and help us to proclaim always, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. And now the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. <laughs>